How's it going guys? Joshua Lafemi here and in today's tutorial we're going to be creating something called the invisible door effect. This effect is really cool and it's really easy to create. All you need is yourself, a tripod, a camera, and a door to walk in and out of. All you gotta do is place that tripod with the camera in front of the door, press record, then you're gonna walk in the door, then walk out, then walk back in, close the door, open the door again, then walk out, and then walk back into the shot, and then close the door. You're gonna do all this making sure that the camera on the tripod is absolutely still, no movement at all. Guys, if you're a video editor out there, you gotta check out our new 20 item bundle called Total Collection. I'm talking about $700 worth of incredible effects packs for only $59. From our flagship digital lens distortion pack called ePRISM, to our three cinematic titles packs, to our TV screens and computer screens Mogarts pack, to our incredible track mat transitions pack, and so, so much more. This is gonna be the best bang for your buck and it's only for a limited amount of time. Check it out now, now let's finish the video. We're now in After Effects. The first thing you're gonna do is import the clip that you just shot. Go to File, go to Import, then go to File. Then you're gonna click on the file that you just shot, bam, and it's inside your project panel. Then you're gonna right click in the project panel, do New Composition, you're gonna click OK. Then you're gonna drag that clip into the composition. I'm now gonna right click on the composition, do Rename, and then I'm gonna name this composition main project. Now I shot this 4K and my composition is 1920 by 1080. So I'm gonna go into transform and I'm gonna shrink the scale by 50. Then I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on my timeline. I'm then gonna cut the clip into three parts. The first part starts where I actually initially open the door and then walk out of frame. I'm then gonna say control shift D to cut the clip. And I'm gonna skip ahead to when I open the door the second time. I'm then gonna cut the clip back to that point and then drag that second clip over to where the first clip ends. The second clip is gonna end when I again walk out of frame. I'm then gonna do Control Shift D to cut the clip again. And my third clip is gonna start when I'm out of frame and it's gonna end when I walk into frame to finally shut the door one last time. Again, I have these three clips and now I wanna name them so that they're easy to identify. Click on the first clip, click rename we're going to call this one clip one. Click on the second clip. Call it clip two. And we'll do the same thing for the third clip. Clip three. One cool thing you can do in After Effects is you can actually edit the color of the layers so that you can identify the clips more easily. So for these three base clips, I'm going to actually make them all orange. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually create a dark shadow on the floor that remains consistent throughout the entire clip. As you can see, when the door is open, there's a dark shadow right here. But when the door is closed, the bright door reflects a very bright area to the bottom of the door. And we want this area to remain consistent throughout the entire clip. As you can see, the light at the bottom of the door does not remain consistent. It goes from being dark, like I just said, to being brighter. So first we're gonna to go to clip one and we're gonna duplicate the clip by clicking Control D. And we're going to go to a part of the clip where the door is open so that the floor remains dark and yet my legs are not in the way. So we're going to pick this point right here and we're going to right click on the clip, go to time, then go to freeze frame. We're then going to go to the pen tool and we're going to draw around this part of the floor. And we're going to extend this mask all the way to the edge of the clip. And then we're going to rename this clip Dark Bottom. Now I'm gonna drag this Dark Bottom layer all the way to the top, but I'm gonna extend it over all three clips. Now, as you can see, the floor remains consistent throughout the entire clip, it remains dark. The only issue now is, of course, when I cross the frame with my legs, stuff looks weird. So what I want to do is I want to cut out this clip when it's not necessary, when the door is open, and when my legs are in the way. I can do this by easily. I can do this easily by selecting the clip, 
and then clicking Control shift d on the keyboard and then removing the clip wherever i don't want it so i basically do not want this clip wherever my legs are in the way there we go so the clip is broken up when i have my legs in the middle of the doorway and then i have the clip continue and then as soon as i open the door again i'm going to do Control shift d again and I'm going to remove the clip that's called the dark bottom again when my legs are in the way. And as soon as my legs are out of the way, I'll continue it again. I also need to cut the clip out when I come back to close the door. So let's cut it back right here. But the cool thing is anytime the door is open, this clip isn't necessary because the floor is dark. The only thing that this clip is covering is essentially parts of this sequence where the door is closed because it's creating that white reflection on the floor, preventing it from being dark. It's now time to dive into the main meat of the effect, where we actually have this door literally open out of midair. What we're gonna do is we're going to wait until the door is completely open and I'm out of the shot. And then we're going to duplicate clip one again. Then we're gonna do Control D to duplicate. And we're going to right click on the clip and we're gonna go to time and then I'm gonna to go to freeze frame. And then we're gonna name this clip Frozen Door. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my pen tool. And now we're gonna basically cut out this entire doorway. Now we're gonna drag this frozen door clip above all of clips one, two, and three. And we're gonna extend it over the part of the second clip where the door is actually opening. I'm then going to turn off the frozen door clip. One thing I also want to do is I want to actually change the color of some of these layers so that you can again see them a little bit easier. So the frozen door we're going to change the color to say aqua. To the dark bottom layers we made we're going to change that color to let's say peach. Now going back to the frozen door shot. So we've essentially cut out Let's turn it back on. We've essentially created a mask where we cut out this empty section of the doorway that we've frozen in place. And what we want to essentially do is we want to actually bend this layer so that it opens like a door and attaches itself basically on top of the actual door that's opening. How we're going to do that is we're going to again, turn it off. We're going to go to this 3D cube and we're going to turn this into a 3D layer. Collapse this layer once and then open it back up again. And you're gonna see your transform options change so that you now have all of these new 3D options, X rotation, Y rotation, Z rotation, and the like. What we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna end up keyframing the Y rotation, but what we wanna do first is we wanna change the anchor point so that it's down on this side of the door. We're gonna do that by actually going to anchor point and transform, and we're going to shift this anchor point down to the bottom right hand corner of this door. Then use the position tool to move the door back where it was before. The reason we went through all that trouble is we want the rotation to rotate based on this edge of the door. And so we want the anchor point to be on this edge of the door and not in the middle how it was before. We're then going to go to Y rotation, click the stopwatch to keyframe it. And we're gonna actually rotate this doorway so that it rotates along with the door that's beneath it. It's actually easier sometimes to blind the door again so you can see what's happening underneath. And we're gonna have that first keyframe right when the door opens. right there it's already there perfect and we're going to end this rotation right when the door stops rotating right about there let's turn it back on and see how it looks we 
We're then going to go to opacity and we're going to allow this layer to fade out to zero. So that the time that the door is actually open, this frozen door layer fades out into nothing. One thing you can do to make it extra fancy is you can highlight all the clips, go to pre-compose, pre-compose all the clips. And then if you want, you can actually keyframe the position and the scale so that you can add a little bit of fake camera movement. That'll make it look a little bit cooler. So maybe you'll start from up close and then you'll scale out. It scales from up close to a little bit further out. Again, you can add more camera movements and go as crazy as you want. Make it as crazy fancy as you'd like. This is how it could look like in the very end.